Hello and welcome to McSherlock Gaming and Nerd Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you Continuum for Windows Mobile 10. It's something I have included with, with my phone, which is the Lumia 950. It's coming out with a new HP phone, phone soon in the summer. Um, I'll give you links and specifications to those in the description. I'm just going to show you a few things that you can do on Continuum that isn't necessarily clear from the Microsoft website, or stuff that I think is cool to show off anyway. That they, that, they, that they do mention. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off, we're going to go into Microsoft Word and Excel. These run really well on the phone. They're native apps, which means they're designed by Microsoft and they work really well. It's me loading up a Word document. This is all done via my mobile connection and through OneDrive. Excel, just the same. I've got access to templates, more advanced features. There you go, that loads up. That's the spreadsheet I'm working on at the moment. But if you don't like that, it's not enough in it, in it for you, you want some more advanced features, then Word Online maybe has it for you. You can go on Word Online through the browser, which is Edge, go from one OneDrive or something like that. We'll go straight to it and it allows you to edit your documents there. YouTube mo Mobile, so a lot of um, times I want to get on YouTube Mobile because it uses less bandwidth, it's a little bit faster on older devices and it lets you do it on this on this operating system for some weird reason, which is quite good because the original one is really slow. SMSs, so you can send SMS text messages from inside the OS on Continuum you can use your keyboard and mouse to do it. Here's me writing out a quick message to my mum and seeing how she is. And there it is, sent straight away, no problem. And that's still running there, I can leave it running or I can close it and it will still get my text messages. So there's that little noise there, I'm doing something else at the moment. Do I go back into messages to reply to that? No, I don't need to. I can bring up the accent centre and reply straight from there. Really good little feature, not really shown off uh, on any other Microsoft videos. And it's a part of Windows Phone, so it's a part of Continuum. Works well, any app that supports that, like Tweetium, um, we'll be able to retweet and like tweets from that. Sort of Facebook I think does it as well. A full list of apps can be found on the forum post I put at the bottom. So Outlook Online, again, Outlook in the phone is pretty decent, but it lacks some advanced features like making message rules and I think you can create folders now, you couldn't before, you might be soon, but this one does it all for you, it's all built in at the moment. And sometimes I have to use that one, jump onto that. Netflix. A lot of people said, ah, oh, Netflix doesn't work on Continuum. No, the app doesn't work. But you can always run it through Edge. And it actually works really well. I had it out to a 1080p screen. Looked fantastic. I watched Avengers on it, which is a you know fast action movie. That worked fine. So you can download, the, you can get, straight, not, not download, you can go straight on the website, log in, and, and all your stuff comes up. Re really good. No issues with that at all. Maybe if the app did come, it wouldn't be as good, so I'm glad to be using the web browser, to be honest. Yep, yeah, MyTube app. If you use the MyTube app, you can run your, vid your YouTube videos at 1080p, 60 frames a second if you're using the wired dock. If you're using the wireless, you restrict it to 30 frames, but you can still get 1080p. Um, and you can use the browser, but it's, it really struggles. This MyTube app works really well. It has no issue running videos at 1080p, 60 frames. 
this is my video I'm loading up off my channel which I know is 1080p 60 frames and it, it runs perfectly fine the only trouble I have is I'm using a mobile data connection and it, and it actually lagged up on that one but using wireless uh, it'll be fine yep live TV so if there's an app called Two View, uh, again I put a link in the description. You can watch uh, a lot of the Freeview channels, a lot of the BBC channels, and you can actually make it full screen. Place. This is the funeral home. You can see some of the uh, Keep police cars, the news, things like that. It's, it's all very good. Yeah, a little feature I found out. It's not publicised at all. I don't know why I'd want to, but you can actually use the camera app. If you run that on Continuum, it shows you what the phone sees. You can have a live feed from the camera. So this is me making this video. I have two monitors set up there. At the moment, one monitor is dedicated to Continuum. Yep, access to store. So, as you'd expect, you can access the store, download new apps, update the apps that are on there, all from Continuum, no need to go on the phone moves us nicely on to my gaming so I've downloaded this app called Crossy Road which is a popular game and now I'm going to play it on actually on Continuum now there's a lot of games that are supported now there's a list I'm going to put again I'm going to put it in the description I can't go through it all now a few marks off ones and a few third party ones I'm actually using the keyboard and mouse to operate this no issues at all uh, Microsoft's actually planning to add Xbox One controller support uh, in a few months as well. Ah! That'd be good. You can play games with the Xbox controller through Continuum. So I'm really loving Continuum at the moment. I think it's a great feature. Uh, I just hope it doesn't get left behind. Microsoft, you know, decides to give up on it. But there's going to be some new focus on it with this new HP phone coming out soon. Which should be great. I'm not very good at Crossy Road, you can see. Yes, yeah, so there's no problem running this app. This runs at six frames. I couldn't uh, even tell how, how, how hard it was. It's just fine, no issues. So this is just me showing you that Crossy Road still running, but I can go off and do other things if I need to. Go into my phone, make a phone call, or I can go into messages, whatever I want to do. And then I can always go back to Crossy Road. It's actually multitasking, which is good. Good feature. So Cortana, yeah, as you'd expect. Tana's built in. She's pretty much everywhere now, even on my Xbox. Good feature, works fine. Personalization, yes. A lot of people maybe think you can't change the backdrop. You actually you can, but you can't do it until you've actually got into continuum mode. So you just go into the set personalization settings within the control panel or setting app, and you can actually go and change it to whatever you want. So that's the one it comes with. I had it on the tent one before. And I'm actually going to put it onto a Star Wars one now. So you get access to all your phone, you know, files and folders and drives. As you'd expect really, you know, you'd expect that. But it's nice to know you can, can get to everything. So I've to hunt around for this uh, picture that I'd saved off, off Tweetium actually. I finally found out where it was. There we go, I finally found the folder that I was after. Yeah, the setting comes up, you can even crop it if you wanted. 
but I didn't want the full screen. Press the, the tick. That's done. And lastly, but not least, uh, you can actually modify the start screen from uh, Continuum. You don't. I, I presume you'd, you'd left click and hold it, but no, you actually single right click. It doesn't bring up a menu. It just straight away gets you into the the mode, and lets you move around your tiles, resize them, and move them around whatever you want to do. Firstly, I'd like to say thanks for watching this video until the very end. I appreciate all the views I get. Please feel free to give us a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Also, leave us a comment, subscribe if you fancy that, and also add me to Xbox Live and PSN if you want a game with me. Thanks for watching.